Today we're gonna react, review, riff, and then rate at the end of the video, no skipping, all the fun stuff's right in the middle, to the it's trailer. The delicious cream filling of a wonderful YouTubery. Yeah, it's a reaction in the, at the beginning, uh, all the fun jokey stuff in the middle, which is the cream filling. Don't give them the recipe, they'll start making it on their own! And then, what, then what's at the end? <laughs> I don't know, maybe we just said it 30 seconds ago. I don't ago. know, maybe, oh, maybe we die. Yes, <laughs> reaction, <laughs> jokes, death. That's that is our Oreo. Of these uh, that's videos. how we keep them coming back. We might die at the end of every video. You, you never, know. never know. You never you know. Never know. We have a puma locked in a cage <laughs> with a timer on it. You never. Know. If we don't get enough laughs, that puma gets released, yes. and we get mauled on camera. <laughs> Look, whatever it takes to make a living on YouTube, we'll yes. just, just please. Whatever, keep, whatever it takes just, to get you to watch at the end of the please, video, please. <laughs> The retention, we need the retention, we need it. We want it. Please. Please. Do you know how expensive Pumas are? They're a lot, they're a lot they're of expensive. money. They are. So we, we've been keeping this thing alive for like four months. Yeah, we feed it just enough. Just hungry. Very hungry. All right. Stop licking your chops. <laughs> We're doing our best. I would name it, but then, then there would be, that would be, uh, add an extra layer to it that I don't know if I'm comfortable with. Yeah, you don't want to humanize it. Yeah, I don't want to get. I don't want to get eaten by a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's a new series, executive produced by Amy Poehler. It's going to be on Netflix soon. It's called Russian Doll. The premise is very simple. This woman is at a party that's thrown in her honor, and she just wants to leave. <laughs> Which is something the two of us really get. I love an Irish goodbye. I love it. We'll get to that. Here we go. Let's fuck this party in the mouth. Happy <laughs> <laughs> birthday, baby. Not life short, carpe diem, etc. Right? What I do in my time is my business, my choice, baby. <laughs> oh. Just doing what? What do you mean? We're groundhogging! <laughs> Fuck! Sweet birthday, baby. What is in this? Stay away from me! I'm coming down the stairs. <laughs> hey! Whoa. Jesus fucking Christ! That's <laughs> Are you gonna tell me what's going on? I keep dying and reliving the same night. Does it hurt? <laughs> yes. You seem fine. <laughs> I'm not fine. I'm questioning my own sanity. We gotta take the fire escape. I have Great. a fire escape? I have to change my Airbnb oh, listing yeah. then. What was wrong with the stairs? It's a long story involving multiple deaths. Yeah, this is much safer. Huh. I've never lasted this long. Those things are a menace. I'm having a very hard, never-ending night. Do we know each other? Okay. Oh, oh. Will you stop acting crazy? What are you doing? Should I call my guy at Bellevue? Is it the nicest psych ward? It's definitely the closest one. Hey, let me ask you! I look at you now, chasing down death at every corner, fighting your way to the light. Do you still have that in you? I am not crazy! You know I hate it! Some people call me crazy! Didn't you get the news? We're about to die. It doesn't matter. I die all the time. Huh. This is, what, the third groundhog thing we've seen in recent yeah. months? Yeah. Is it weird that I, I'm not tired of the premise? Not yet. I'm really not. Yet. Nope. This is a good time for this. Uh, uh, oh, 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 because um, Happy Death, Death Day, Day to You comes out two weeks after this. Yeah. And there, there wasn't there like another groundhogging? There was one more groundhog. Live, Die, Repeat? Sure. Uh, that is, yes. Groundhog Day the Musical that was on Broadway a couple seasons ago. Yes, which did not last very long. No, 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 no. Um... But yeah, I was wondering, like, how can you fill eight episodes of just one party and trying to leave? Because, like, it is, you could just Irish goodbye, the whole thing. It's a very, it's a very, 
looks funny, but then it started to have a little bit more and more menace, mm-hmm. which I find very compelling. And knowing that, she, uh, it's in the Lower East. We know exactly where that, that's when we both perked up at the red door when they were yeah, shooting on the corner. We know that block very yeah. well. Uh, and we also know that bar very well. Also, that was Luke Cage's bar from the it first is, season yeah. of Jessica Jones. <laughs> yeah. That blew up. Um, so, <laughs> we know that, we, we used to record a podcast on that block for a yeah. couple of years. So, we know that block, we know that <laughs> door very well. Um, and like, and yes, Bellevue is the closest hospital to that section, because yeah. that's the Lower East Side. Yeah, so. that's true. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, hmm. I wonder what the, uh, just the lesson she needs to learn. And also the instrument of trapping her in the loop. Is this like we talked about last time? Is it just a random time loop trapping somebody? Or is there... Well, the screw, I was, I thought this was pretty cookie cutter until this when she's in that falling elevator and the other guy's like, yeah, I die all the time. I was like, What? What? Do you think that's like a red herring for the trailer? Or just like... I don't know, man. I don't know. But that's... But also there's this layer of like, she's not crazy. And so this, there might be like an aspect of psychotic break in, involved in this. That could be interesting. Well, if you have a psychologically fragile person trapped in a time loop, like you need a strong constitution to survive a time loop. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'd break. You'd break? Oh, yeah, dude, if we've learned anything, I, my, my psyche is not that strong. I, I will I'll lose it uh, pretty quickly. Lose it. It means go crazy. Nuts. Insane. Bonzo. No longer in possession of one's faculties. Three fries short of a happy meal. What? Huh, yeah. I, I, I will succumb to uh, the land version of space madness <laughs> very fast. Groundhog madness! Yeah, it would not go great. Uh, also, this movie uh, it should, is, it should be a uh, service to everyone. Hey, those grates above the basements on storefronts, they're very dangerous! They're very dangerous. I'm always afraid of them. Are I you? Have a, oh, dude, I have a running... F- I, have, I have this terrible fear. Every time I see, like, one of them open, I have this... I, I If you'll note, if you ever walked with me when a, a grate is open, I will usually do a big beeline around it. Oh, really? I have a big fear that I'm going to be walking near one, and I'm going to trip. Or, like, my foot's going to catch something, and I'm going to fall forward. And uh, you know how it's just like a, a metal sheet? Yeah. And I'm going to fall forward, and, and my teeth... I'm just going to go right onto the... Th- I'm just going to, like, curb stomp myself. I don't know why. I don't know why. But it's a very vivid fear I have. I'm like, don't curb stomp yourself. Don't you do it. Keep calm. Don't curb stomp yourself. I have a... Yeah, those those grates scare the hell out of me. Do not walk on, like, the subway yeah. grates. No, that's fine. It's okay. I'm not, it's I'm just not a- so worried about falling to my death as much as I'm worried about curb stomping myself. <laughs> Okay. Again, like I said, this is not this this is not the strongest m- mechanisms. It can say a lot of words and make funny things happen, but when the, when the rubber hits the road, I'm a, it's like a it's like a, it's an antique car up here. It's a classic car. It's beautiful. It's cool. But then like when you're like, oh, this doesn't have power steering. <laughs> Oops. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of hard to drive sometimes when you actually got to like take this car somewhere. That's beautiful in the showroom. You know. Sure. <laughs> you know. I think you're too practical to make to make a Groundhog's Day situation work. Too practical, or you're too pragmatic to make it work. No, not not work. But I think the things that you would do when you figured that you didn't have that you could just come back to the same time. Uh huh. I worry that you would it would get to the point where you would be out of the loop and you'd be in a bad spot. You think? Yes. I my my biggest concern would always be like I don't know when the loop's gonna end so I gotta mind my p's and q's, but I feel like I'm gonna get a call from you someday, be like I'm in I'm in prison, I killed seven people, because I was stuck I was Groundhog's Daying and then the loop stopped, and I I can't, I can't undo it this time man, <laughs> be like ah oh, dang it, Lash, I know you're stuck in a loop but you're supposed to learn a lesson I learned a lesson and the lesson is I'm a murderer. <laughs> 
<laughs> See, I I actually think that how it, now I'm gonna toot my own horn and I apologize. But I, <laughs> but I wake up every morning. I was like, what do I get to do today? Awesome. This is gonna be great. I'm gonna get this much better. Yeah. In a Groundhog Day situation, like I to quote Rorschach, I like oh. You think I'm trapped in here with you guys? <laughs> no, you're trapped in this loop uh, with you'd me. You'd use a loop to get to like power level 9,000. Oh, I levels. would grind the hell out of a time loop and I would come out your god. <laughs> what? Adam took over the room. What happened? Like one day he was fine and then a Monday he was fine and then Tuesday all of a sudden the world belongs to him? What happened? He groundhogged. That's the only, that's what happened. He groundhog dayed and somehow came out our god. So he's unstoppable. Yeah, but I don't think physically your body changes. I think it's just up here. Yes, that's all I need. <laughs> I would make that time loop yeah, my bitch. actually bitch. viscerally gave me like a... <laughs> <sighs> I know, and I know that's true. Like, I know you well enough to know that's true. That's why this is funny. There's a little kernel of truth in there. <laughs> Just pray I never walk into those one of those random time loops that are, that are floating through the world. Because I'm coming to come yeah, out the other side you be, stronger. Or you become aggressively journaling about like, okay, well, I can't go down the stairs because I die if I fall down the stairs. All right. I mean, I'll do that. And then I think, yes, you would come out yoked. you come out yudge. you come out mentally yudge. But, uh, but I think like the first like year of your loop would be very boring. <laughs> It'd be like the... Uh, be like, I'm going to test all the limitations of this loop. <laughs> all right, here we go. It'd be like uh, when you play the old Nintendo games, when we, when we didn't have cheat cheats and stuff like that. We actually had to sketch out the map to Metroid back in the day, or the, the original Zelda. Like, we, you had to sketch out the, all the whole map on your own, and that's what I would probably be doing for the first year. Of like, okay, well, this is where I die here, and I really die here, and I die here. I didn't, because I didn't have, but like I, my friends did. Or when we played together, huh. like one guy was the map maker and one guy was the player. I sometimes, was that, that's cartography, right? Yeah. yeah. You know what? You you youngins with your video games don't know how good you have it. But also at the same time, there was this, there was a certain fun to like. Discovery? To kind of hacking that mm -hmm. in a, in an analog kind of way. Mm -hmm. There was a certain fun to it. Like, me and my buddy Justin, we used to go to a, a LAN cafe. A LAN cafe. Mm. Wow. And we would play uh, Dark uh, We would play uh, Dark Forces 2. Oh, yeah. We'd play online. Oh, that was the one that got good. And mm. we found out that we were basically unstoppable in Dark Forces Online. If someone controlled the movement and all the shooting and aiming, and then someone controlled all the force powers on the bar... You could, like, shoot and use force powers at the same time, but it was much faster if you had two people doing it. So, like, I would control all the force powers, and he would just move and shoot, and we would just wreck shop. Well, okay. Russian doll. Russian doll. Jay, what would you rate this trailer as? I would rate th this tra This is a good trailer. Good I would trailer. rate this. This is, like, this is a 13 out of 13 oh. open subway grates. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to fall right into this, into this series. You're gonna fall right in. You're gonna love it. You just oh, you're gonna just clip it on. And you're gonna fall right to your death, and start the next episode. <laughs> what would you guys rate this trailer as? Let us know in the comments below. I love and I hate you at the same time right now. Uh, yeah. Also, go on our Discord channel. Let us know there. There's lots of fun, cool people talking about all sorts of video games, movies, and trailers, and all sorts of cool stuff. We'd love to have you there. The link is down below in the description box. Also, like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Do that, YouTube. That you do so well. Guacamole's extra. You turkey on the floor weirdos. That was that was just rude. What, I don't gonna, care if you're in a loop. You don't throw the turkey on the floor. We're gonna die of salmonella in this one. I don't it's know. Just, uh, someone was making you turkey. Why you got a turkey on the ground? Just unhealthy. Don't do it. Very, very, very slick, don't too. Do it. Slip on turkey. Ooh, next to bananas, it's bananas and then turkeys. Woo! <laughs> on the floor. All right. <laughs> Other videos will be popping up soon. Please watch those. We would appreciate it as much as we appreciate you for watching this one. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.